Hey! Good morning. Do you want to know what I just realized? It is that now we have a problem because on days where it's really good weather for flying, it's also really good weather for surfing. What are we going to do about that? We've chose surfing today. It's actually a, it's, it's the middle of the week. We have a day off a public holiday here in Australia. Uh, but yeah, I just, just realized that we now have a lifetime of trading off whether we want to, to surf or fly. There's going to be one day in the future where we do both. I was thinking about this last night. I've been looking at a lot of their aeronautical charts, just seeing how cross-country flights would work uh, and, and, and sort of the potential places around here. And I was actually thinking it would be amazing if we could fly somewhere and then go surfing. That's on the bucket list. We'll definitely do that. That's, I, I keep saying this is how we know we've made it is when we, we can fly and then do this. But flying to a... To a uh, an airfield close to a coast and then going surfing. Like, I'm talking boards in the plane. Passengers waxing up on the way there. We suit up as we're taxiing back and then jump straight in the water. We've been doing a lot of driving. We drive over an hour to go flying, but we love it. And we drive over an hour to go surfing because we also love it. I've surfed in, in many places around Australia. And South Australia just has freezing cold water. Yeah, there's waves. There's waves. Wave check. I'm cold. That was awesome though. Lovely day, couldn't ask for anything better. Hardest part of the surf is actually taking the wetsuit off. Putting it on is a struggle. But taking it off is horrible. When we do start flying cross country, we do have to fly this coastline because it is a gorgeous coastline. Let me just show you real quick. Let's go to the gym, uh, wish me luck. We don't do too many post-surf gym sessions and that's for a reason because we're exhausted, but we're training legs, we've got some food in us, we got our smoothie, our chicken, our potatoes, more than fueled up, let's go. Yeah, we shouldn't do that ever again. Uh, bad decision. I'm exhausted, we need food. Why do I do this to myself? Let's eat some pasta! Honestly, look at this sky. I'm not even sure how much you can see here. But actually, I'm going to take you to a better spot. Let's go down the street here. I read this quote uh, not too long ago, and it was like, Those who explore the beauty of flight will forever live a life gazing up into the sky. And I know it's how beautiful is that, but look at this. Look at this. Uh, it's, it's so true. Like, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm constantly looking up in the air now just because I know the feeling. I know the feeling of being up there and looking down. That is a gorgeous sky. <laughs> All right, when I'm not flying, the things that I do in order to, to continue to prepare is I listen to radio. So this is live air traffic control from uh, Adelaide, Adelaide Approach and, and Adelaide Ground. So what I what I do sometimes is, is pull up the flight radar application. I pull up an aeronautical chart and then I listen to air traffic control on live ATC.net. Uh, we're getting to that point where um, the instructor's telling us to prepare for a pre-solo exam. So as a theoretical exam that you do prior to your first solo. I still feel that we need um, a bit more practice, uh, get a bit more comfortable in the circuit. We're getting there, we're getting really close. The landings aren't feeling very good right now, uh, but I'm getting the hang of it a lot more. Relaxing, as, as we always say, we're trying to relax in the cockpit. I mentioned the sky before, oh, wrong way. Have a look. It's gorgeous. It's just incredible. Lesson 11. Happy Friday, legends. 
uh, number 11. Here we are, and a cloudless sky. It's a dead still morning. It feels beautiful. Got a flight lesson in two and a half hours. So we're gonna do our grocery shopping before then. Uh, maybe get some blueberries and um, some snacks for the drive over. Let's get into the fly day. Tell me if you think this was a successful shop. We've managed to fill the boot. Don't give your date a, uh, a bunch of flowers. Give him a bunch of kale. Uh. We're late. <laughs> Get overwhelmingly excited by groceries. It's such a beautiful day that it's like, it's even a beautiful day just to drive. Imagine flying. It's gonna be 10 times better. Let's fly. The 160 today. There's, um, there's gyrocopters that fly in this field as well. So, oh, I don't know if you can see one coming past. Oh no. But they're, um, those things are crazy. <laughs> they're quite a sight, so. Here we go, here's Mike. Lesson 11, let's go. Engine start. How do you read me? Loud and clear. Okay, read you fast. Start check was complete. Ball pressure's good. Temperatures are coming up. Battery voltages are on. Yep. Decent bees in the green. Run up to 1800 res. And check mags and carby heat. Mag one check. Mag two check. Carby heat check. And fuel pump on. Alright. Run up checks complete. I can see final and base. Yeah, I can find on base as well. Not really aware of anybody in the circuit, but... Traffic Rolos, Jabiru 4971 is entering and backtracking. Runway 19 of the circuits, traffic Rolos. Is this a little bit faster, taxi? Nah, it's okay. So i got to remember for this, this lesson to pick like a reference point and not have the nose as my centre line. Yeah, a lot of people look over the hump in the middle of the cowl and that's very nose left. It'll, it'll look like the nose is a little bit to the right when you're straight until you get used to it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Base and final still look clear. Wow, there's a big rock there. Sort of thing that can fracture your tyre. Rollos traffic, Jabro 4971, lining up and rolling, 1-9er. Rollos. Rollos traffic, Jabro 4979 is five miles to the south of the field. At 3,000 feet, inbound, estimated circuit time, 2-2, two, two, for the shot. Right, right up. Nice up. You're steering with the stick a little bit? Yep. I can feel it on the ground, too. You're bringing the stick over to the, to the left. Yeah, okay. Hold that right, right up. Okay, fuel pump up. Round we go. And clearing left, turning left. Rollos traffic, Jabro 4971, turning downwind 19er, Rollos. Hey, fuel pump on. T's and P's. T's and P's are in the green, hats and harness are secure, brakes are off, fuel sufficient for a go around miss approach. Can't be heat. Power back. Power back. Rollos traffic, Jabro 4971, turning base 19er. Touch and go. Roll those. Bit low here. Yeah, but we've got a short final, so it doesn't really feel low to me. Okay. No, more than 70. Reduce the power a little bit. If you've got a little bit of a crosswind, you can hold a little bit of stick. Okay. You need lots of right rope to keep straight. Close the throttle back to idle. Okay, you can go full power. Full power. Full power. Yeah, there's that bloody rock. Yeah. I saw that. Yeah, Gary, there's a, quite a big rock in the middle of the room. I've just hit it twice. Oh, come on, we'll keep an eye on it. Uh, how far from the threshold for one nine is it? Yeah, it's well before the wind, so it's about the uh, nice uh, sort of touchdown point. Thanks for telling me, Mike. I appreciate that. Yeah, I might need someone to get out and throw it off the runway. I might uh, stop on the taxi and get rid of it for you, mate. All right. Well, when I 
Yeah, mate, she's up in the Irish Rock, and it's uh, in an Irish patch, sort of in the middle of in the middle of the road. Okay, well, we'll uh, backtrack one by one nine, but uh, uh, be aware we will stop and remove it. Traffic all the way over to zero nine on heading left, east, running one eight for the traffic. Zero nine four nine. Are you uh, aware that we will be stopping on the runway to get rid of that rock? Uh, yes, we are aware. Zero nine four nine. Apologise for that, but it's the best I can do. Yeah, no worries, thank you. And 4971 is turning down, went 1 9 and will they do a practice go around? So, if a runway is obstructed, um, we might have to do a missed approach or a go around. We're going to yeah. initiate that fairly high so we don't scare them. Are they thermals taking us higher? Yeah, this little fluffy cumulus and uh, the ground, a very cold morning and as the ground warms up, wants to go up. Feel it, feel it going up there? Yeah. Okay, can't be heat. Can't be heat. Power back. Power back. Rollo, Jabiru 4, Niner 7, Miner's turning base, 1, Niner for a uh, practice missed approach. Traffic Rollo's. Doesn't really matter if we even end up being a bit high with this one, does it? Because we're going to go around. Yep. Yeah, okay, so they're still on the runway there. Yep. So generally what you do is you, you fly the aeroplane first, so you would throttle up, you'd go out to the right, you'd stop the descent, and then you'd just call going round one nine after a bit rolling. Yeah, someone hit it, Mike, you're right, and there was about 10 of them there. Yeah, it looked a bit big and sharp to leave there. Ugly, ugly. Can't be heat off. Can't be heat away. Okay, power it up. Power it up. Rollo traffic, Jabiru 4971 is going round, runway 19, no traffic Rollo. 80 knot climb. So a missed approach or a go around, you might need to initiate that because of something like that, or um, maybe yeah. there's someone that's just not talking to you on the radio because they're on the wrong frequency. Or... What height do you want to be when you start your final turn, really? 900. Okay. And that's above ground level or indicated? Indicated. Yeah. Eventually you should be able to go like, like this and uh, look at the runway and go, yep. I feel a bit higher or I feel a bit low. It looks like final's clear. Ground we go. Ground we go. Speed's good, height's good, we're at the right place. Just add a little bit of power, keep reducing the power now. Down the right. Come back to idle. Right back to idle. Okay, taking off. Full power. Full power. Quite a wide runway. I still notice you, you're drifting over to the left as you, as you land a bit still. Yep. You're committing yourself down. Keep the power on for a while. Now look at the end and don't land. Fly along as you're closing the throttle. Come back to idle. Come back to idle. Power. Taking off. Yeah, pace to keep it tight here and not do huge big circuits, especially when Murray Bridge is up and running again. Yep. Are we a little far, do you think? No, no, that's good. Yeah, every approach is different. Yeah. So, full flat. Push your nose down. Don't pump the stick, be smooth. Flying along, flying along. Don't push forward, never push forward. Okay, yeah. It's always back. Always back. Yep. Full power. Full power. Full power. It's a mistake a lot of people make too, and they're yeah. holding up a bit high, or they, they balloon or whatever, they end up landing on the front wheel. Yeah, because that was quite a high approach. Yep. Cross it on the left. Heading to the left hand side of the runway a little bit. Yep. Start getting rid of the power. We've done that a little bit earlier. Power back. Yep. Hang on. Full power. You need to um, just sort of finish it off a bit in the end with a bit of back stick. You, there's even a bit of resistance there when I'm pulling back against you. Okay. Okay, committing down. Looking at the end of the runway. Keep it flying. Keep it flying. Keep it flying. No, don't push forward. Keep coming back. Oh, 
Taking off. Yeah, taking off. We're going left. Yeah, net ball right and right, I think. Net ball right and right. Most traffic, 04971, turning base 19er, full stop. All those. Definitely have to be very active on the throttle today. Yeah. Airs up and down. Up and down and fly along. Traffic all those, zero kilo India. On one nine for full stop. Right, right up, right, right up. Brakes. It touched down reasonably straight and then you brought the nose around quite to the left. Yeah, I think when that first wheel went down, my feet on the pedals released the pressure. Rollos traffic, January 49071, clear of all runways. Rollos. Well done. Oh, thanks, Mike. <laughs> that last one was a bit, bit sketchy. Yeah, when you, when it feels like you're, you're floating, you're going to go a little bit long. You tend to push forward. You've just got to keep coming back. And in, in the end, if it's really not going to work out, you would have just going around. Thanks, Mike. No worries, Mike. Awesome, mate. Well done. Getting a bit more comfortable week to week. You will. Post-flight blueberries are the best kind. Awesome lesson. Um, weather conditions were great. Eh? A little bit of cloud around when you got a lot of thermal, so it was pretty bumpy up there actually at times. Lots of landing practice, some good ones, some not so good ones, so, but overall, an amazing day. Gyrocopter's in circuit at the moment, we'll see if we can film it. We had to do a go around because um, there was a rock and we actually hit it on the runway, so. The aircraft that was behind us actually went and taxied out and removed, removed that rock from the runway, so we actually went around in that case. Just a beautiful day. I want to say it's peaceful, but you hear all these propellers. To me, that's pretty fun. So we have an aircraft coming in on final now, short final. I had a, I had a pretty hard landing today, if I'm honest. It definitely is challenging. You think, you think that you get the hang of it, and then the next one's completely different, and it goes badly. So I guess it's just another reason why you should always be practicing. Never, ever be overconfident. Oh, we're gonna get a close-up look here. That's pretty sweet. Day very well spent. Lesson 11, done. Have we got a perfect landing yet? No. Will we? We'll find out. See you back home for the debrief. Well, that was a little different. There was a rock on the runway. Flying on a gravel runway, that's actually normal, but this was a decent sized rock. It's interesting because my instructor actually saw this as we were taxiing out and he pointed it out and uh, just trust me on the very first landing to literally land straight on top of the rock. I think the communication that followed this between aircraft was a really good example of how to handle abnormal situations, situations you're not expecting. It really shows the importance of effective communication in aviation. All the pilots in the air at that time were talking together until we made sure that the runway was safe for people to land and, and we could carry on as normal. But it was really good that everyone was aware and it's an untowered airport so there's not an air traffic controller like controlling the traffic. So it was good to see that dynamic in an uncontrolled airport is um, just people talking to each other and it just, it just came down to that. One aircraft actually had to land, backtrack, stop, get out, pick the rock up, throw it off the runway, get back in the plane, take off again. And then he was like, yeah, we're all good. So I think that was a really good example of how effective communication can resolve these abnormal situations. This also gave a really good opportunity for me to practice a go around, which is when you actually like bail out of an approach and, and, and don't actually commit to the landing. I'm also learning how critical it is to be aware of your surroundings. It doesn't matter what stage of flight you're in, but especially during landing, if you have an obstacle on the runway or if you have traffic that hasn't cleared, then a good option could be to go around and make sure that you don't uh, land and, and cause conflict. So that was something that I got to practice today, which, uh, which, which is really cool. I'm actually so glad I videoed the whole journey and every single flight because there's these little moments like this one in particular that, uh, that really had an impact on my learning. And I look back and I'm like, I remember that was, that was a pivotal moment for me. Thank you for watching. It's uh, it's getting fun now. It's it's getting to the fun part. It's it's, it's going to be awesome. The next few videos uh, where we're approaching our, our first solo. It's so cool. So uh, yeah, look. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for being here. I'll see you next time. Godspeed.